We will solve this Irodo problem, interesting problem, where a cylinder is moving with a velocity v, mass is m and radius is r. It comes across a sharp bend and the bend here makes an angle alpha with the initial plane and we have to find what should be the maximum velocity so that it doesn't fly off when it just rolls over. Just see, first draw the straight line and just before rolling over, let this be the position. This is the point along which it rolls over and this is the center of mass. The height is r. Now when it rolls over, it will have this. Now draw perpendicular to this plane. Initial was perpendicular to this plane. Now perpendicular to new plane. And this is the trajectory of the center of mass. This angle will remain as alpha. So the new height of the center of mass will be r cos alpha and this is the initial height of center of mass. Let us see in this diagram this is the rolling over which has taken place. Now this angle is alpha this angle will be alpha this is the downward force the component and this is the plane along which it is moving after rolling over take perpendicular to the plane. In such problems, either you take along the plane or take perpendicular to the plane. So this is the plane, new plane. Perpendicular to the plane will be this. The force, because of the gravity, perpendicular to the plane is mg cos alpha. Let normal reaction be n. And because it is rolling around point O, the center of mass is just rolling like this. So because of this rotational motion along O, there will be a centrifugal force upwards and let v dash be the velocity new velocity here is v dash that is along this plane and initial was v along this parallel to the original plane this will be parallel to the new plane now because of this velocity the centrifugal force at this point of time because this is the maximum possible as it is falling it is gaining velocity so here it will be at this point of contact why we are concerned with this position because it is taking various positions in between. It is just turning over, just turning over and this is the position when it becomes perpendicular. So it falls over so with this point of contact only. Otherwise it will keep on falling. It will further increase when it goes forward. But with this point of contact, this will be the position where it velocity will be maximum. So let this be the V dash velocity. Now equate the forces along the plane. So N is upwards, N plus mv dash square upon r is equal to mg cos alpha. Now for it not to fly off, the normal reaction should always be greater than or equal to 0. Because if it flies off, n becomes 0. There won't be any contact. So n should always be there. So value of n is n is equal to mg cos alpha minus mv dash square upon r should be greater than or equal to 0 or g cos alpha greater than or equal to v dash square upon r or v dash square should be less than or equal to g r cos alpha. This is one part. Now v dash and v there has to be a relationship and which we will get by equating initial energy total initial energy to the final energy. What is the initial energy? Initial energy is 1 because and this is the reference point with the same point we see with this reference point. The potential energy is mgr and kinetic energy is rotational mv square plus half i omega square and v is equal to r omega. It's a pure rotational motion. So we write mgr plus half mv square plus half moment of inertia of the cylinder is half m r square and omega is v upon r so v square upon r square so we get m g r plus m v square upon 2 plus m v square upon 4 or we can write 2 upon 4 we get m g r plus 3 m v square upon 4 is the initial energy the final energy with reference to same point potential energy now is mg instead of r it is r cos alpha.
the vertical height from this same point mgr cos alpha and velocity be v dash so it is 3 upon 4 m v dash square there is no loss of energy equate this so we get gr plus 3 upon 4 v square is equal to gr cos alpha plus 3 upon 4 v dash square or we can write v dash square as gr 4 upon 3 plus v square minus gr cos alpha into 4 upon 3 is equal to v dash square so this v dash square is equal to v square plus gr 4 upon 3 1 minus cos alpha this is the value of v dash square and it has to be less than equal to gr cos alpha so now solve it so v square should be less than equal to gr cos alpha minus 4 gr upon 3 1 minus cos alpha you solve it further gr you take common cos alpha minus 4 upon 3 plus 4 upon 3 cos alpha solve it we get v square should be less than equal to gr 7 upon 3 cos alpha 7 upon 3 cos alpha minus 4 upon 3 so v square is less than equal to gr upon 1 upon 3 times gr into 7 cos alpha minus 4 so v v should be less than equal to gr upon 3 7 cos alpha minus 4 under root so that's the answer